Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are going to talk about a shading quill, uh, which we would find in a contactor, right? But instead of actually talking about one here, let's go take apart a contactor and take a look at a shading quill. So what I have here is a standard uh, NEMA contactor. This one's a size double zero, right? So we've got our contactor, we've got our overload heaters and reset button. So when I take this contactor apart, right, what we're going to see is those three main parts of the contactor. Right, so I kind of pull them all out. I have got my coil, right, this one happens to be a 208 volt coil. I have got a core and I've got an armature. Right, so we know that the coil wraps around the core. When we energize the coil, it turns into an electromagnet and pulls the armature down, which will change state of all the contacts in that contactor. But what I want to take a look at here is I want to take a closer look at my core. So what we see on the core is we have these two little rings in the end of the core right here. Now those are called my shading coil. Now shading coils are very important in a contactor to prevent chattering. So what happens when we do have a faulty coil or a shading coil? Let's take a look. All right, so here I've got two contactors. One of them is perfectly functional. I energize the coil. It pulls in. It's not very loud. It works good. I de-energize the coil. It drops out. The other one here actually has a faulty or a missing shading coil or a broken shading coil. And we'll see what happens when I turn it on. We get that terribly loud sound or that chattering. So let's jump back to the board and see what's actually going on electrically when this is all happening. Okay, so now we've taken apart a shading coil. We've looked at what a shading coil is. We've seen how it looks when it works and when it's faulty. But let's talk about why that is. So it all comes down to a sine wave. So when we apply an AC sine wave to a coil, right, an AC sine wave looks like this. This would be our supply voltage into the coil. Now what happens? Well, every alternation or 120 times a second, we reach zero. So the coil actually drops out, which is what's and then energizes again. And that's what creates that chattering sound. Now, how do we fix that? Well, the shading coil, as you saw, was actually installed at a 90 degree angle. So it's out of phase with the supply flux. Out of phase by 90 degrees, right? 90 degrees is the key there. Well, okay, if it's 90 degrees out of phase, it actually creates a little sine wave that looks like this. So now at no point on this sine wave, am I actually reaching a zero flux? So it actually stays engaged and we get no chattering. I hope that makes sense. Thank you so much for coming to check out this video. Make sure you check out some of my other magnetic motor control videos here. And if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day.